The final type of work feature or reference geometry that you can create is a user coordinate system. I'll launch the user coordinate system tool from the work features panel. When I do, a triad appears in the graphics area. You can specify values for the triad relative to the part origin, or you can move the triad freely in space by clicking and dragging the sphere in the center. You can also snap the triad to a point. This is my preferred approach. If you accidentally snap the triad to the wrong point, just right click it and select Restart. Once I have the origin of the triad positioned, all that's left is to align the axes. You can align the axes however you'd like. You can rotate about any axis by selecting it and dragging to rotate. You can also translate along an axis using the arrowheads. Another trick to aligning the axes is to select two additional points. The first point you select will align your x-axis, and the second point will align the y-axis. The z-axis will then be automatically defined using the right-hand rule, meaning if you take your thumb and pointer finger on your right hand and align them with the x and y axis, whichever way your middle finger naturally curls in will be the direction for the z-axis. And that's really all there is to it. Now you can use the user coordinate system to create sketches and features. Notice in the browser, if I expand the UCS, there are three planes, three axes, and a center point, all created automatically with the UCS. This is useful because if the user coordinate system moves, any sketches created on these UCS planes will move with it and update accordingly.